When a visitor comes here, we send them on about a two-hour tour. And each group of visitors, 20, 25 people, will have their own tour guide. They'll spend about a half hour in a very large exhibit hall that was the old change house for the miners, where the miners had their lockers and they would get changed in their work clothes and back into their uh, street clothes every day. That exhibit hall contains about 20,000 mining related items on display. We could spend hours in there, any of us could, we get a half hour for each tour. Then you go into the mine itself, you'll be underground for about an hour and see how mining was done at Sterling Hill. This is the real mine, this is not a tourist trap that we just created, this is the mine. And then the other thing you will do after you exit the mine is go into the Thomas S. Warren Museum of Fluorescence where we have three large rooms filled with fluorescent minerals. This mine is not at all like coal mines. Coal is a very weak rock. This is a zinc mine. The rock here is very strong. And at the shallow depths where we were working this zinc mine, it's not under much pressure at all. So the workings are entirely safe. Right behind me now is the main shaft uh, that takes the miners down to their workplaces in the depths of the Sterling Hill mine. Just behind me you can see a mannequin sitting on one of the small man cars. When the mine was in production, we had a large man car in here. Could hold 40 miners at once. Our yearly attendance now is about 35,000 a year, and I believe about 28,000 of those are school children. That's what we concentrate on. We want to bring the school children in to see this place and learn a little bit about the mining history of New Jersey because this state was an economic powerhouse in mining for many, many decades. It's just that that was about a century ago. Every visitor to our mine will get a sample of zinc ore to take home with them. Here's a piece of the zinc ore. It doesn't look like much right now. You see, it's just a nondescript rock. But when I take it over to the ultraviolet lights and put it under there, you'll see this thing glow brilliantly. And here we go, put it under ultraviolet light, and there you are. That green mineral is willemite. That's one of our major zinc ore minerals from this mine. The orange-red is calcite. It's pretty, but it's worthless. That's the waste mineral that we didn't want to mine here. But in combination, that red and green is just beautiful. We're not going to run out of zinc ore anytime soon with hundreds and hundreds of tons on the ground and more available still on the surface. When kids come to this mine, uh, we have a lot of questions we get asked, as you can imagine. They're very, very curious. A lot of them want to know about animals in the mine. I get asked a lot, do you have bats? What about snakes? Do you have snakes in the mine? And the answer to both of those is, not usually. We used to have thousands of bats, but the lower levels of the mine are flooded now. And it's rare that we see a bat inside anymore. At least along the tour route, you will not see them. Snakes, occasionally we'll take one out in the morning, but that's maybe one every couple of years. They just wander into the mine because it's cool and dark and they like it. And when we find the snake, we take it back out. I don't believe anybody on any tour here in 15 years has ever seen a snake. Now, if anybody wants any more information on this property and our museum and what we do here, we have a website. It's www.sterlinghill.org. All one word, sterlinghill.org.